Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Duty Boy, and welcome to another series, How to Build with Duty Boy. In my first ever How to Build episode, I'm going to show you how to build this easy stables. It will only take you a few minutes, and it does not require many materials. Here is a complete list of all the materials I used in this build. It is three pages long, so if you would like to copy it, please pause your video on the following screens. Here is the first page, here is the second page, and here is the third page. Here we have the basic floor plan all marked out on the floor. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get a barrel and you're going to want to put them on each of these spots that I have across the front. You're going to want them to be facing upward so that the door is at the top, just like that. In order to make them face upward, you stand very close to the block and place the barrel. Now we're going to place four strip spruce logs across the back in the spot shown. If you do not have strip spruce logs, simply place regular spruce logs there and then strip them by right clicking them with your ax. Now we're going to connect all of these barrels and strip spruce logs by placing stone bricks between each. One, two, three. 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 One, two, three, and one, two, three. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now I'm going to go through these stone brick walls and I'm going to texture them using the four blocks that you see down on my hotbar. I have regular andesite, polished andesite, mossy stone bricks, and cracked stone bricks. To texture these walls, we are going to break random bricks and we are going to replace them with one of these other types of bricks at random. Just like that. I'm going to go through and I'm going to break random bricks and replace them to give it a used look. There, now you may have something that looks similar to that. Now I'm gonna go across the front and I'm going to raise three stripped spruce logs on top of each of these barrels. In order to do that, I'm going to get on top of the wall and then I'm going to hold shift while I place the log, like so. Then you can easily place the other two blocks. Shift place and then jump to get the last one. And now I'm going to go across the back of the build and I'm going to raise each of these strip spruce logs by three more. Now I'm going to connect all these beams by placing horizontal beams between each of them at the top. One, two, three. 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 And now I'm going to go into the middle and I'm going to place horizontal beams between these two posts. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'm going to place a horizontal beam between these two blocks in the center in each of these cells. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Now I'm going to move around the exterior of the build and I'm going to create walls around the outside by placing two cobblestone blocks on either side of each three by three area, like so. Now I'm going to go into each of these stables and I'm going to create a window by adding an upside down stairs facing inward at the top of each opening, like so. Now I'm going to use mossy cobblestone blocks and stairs to replace several pieces of cobblestone in each of these cells for texturing.
Now I'm going to place a spruce fence in each of the window spaces. Now we're going to place spruce fences along the interior walls so that the horses cannot jump over from stall to stall. Now I'm going to place an upside down spruce stairs in the corner of the front opening of each of these little stalls. Across the front of these two stalls on the left, I'm going to place three fence gates. Now we're going to build a trough right out here in front of this open pen by taking out two ground blocks and placing two spruce planks in the floor. Then I'm going to surround this with spruce trapdoors placed on the floor around it while I am facing the blocks. Like so. At this point, I can place two water buckets on each of the spruce planks and the water will stand up. Now I just close the trapdoors all the way around the trough. I'm going to decorate this back corner of this area by placing some hay bales going in different directions. And I'm going to place some chests in the area for storage. In this corner, I'm going to place a line of four ladders going up to the second level. And then I'm going to climb up. On this level, I am going to place a column of five stripped spruce logs going upward from each of these points around this cell, such as one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to place spruce slabs between each of the logs on this level, except where the ladder connects. On top of this ladder, I'm going to place a spruce trapdoor that opens toward the back wall like so. Now around this area, I'm going to raise walls made of smooth stone slabs next to each of these stripped oak pillars. Notice that I'm only going up four blocks. On the side walls of this room, I'm going to fill in the middle with smooth stone blocks. On the front and back, I am only going to place one block at the bottom and one block at the top. Now I'm going to place white stained glass panes in each of these window spaces. I'm also going to fill this area with chests and with hay bales pointed in various directions. Now I'm going to place chests on top of the hay bales for storage. To texture this upper room, I'm going to knock out specific blocks and replace them with regular sandstone blocks. All right, that's looking good. At the top of this room, I'm going to place horizontal logs between each of these upright columns. Along the front of the build, I'm going to place an upside down stairs at the top of each of these vertical spruce log columns, like so. Then between each, I'm going to run a line of top half slabs connecting them. Now on the top of this line, I'm going to place an upright stair everywhere that I have an upside down stair. And then I'm going to place bottom half slabs between each of the stairs to connect them. 
On the outside of the edge stair, on each side, I'm going to place another stair, and then I'm going to place a top half slab under it. And now I'm going to do the same on the back side, like so. Now I'm going to come over to the low side of the building and I'm going to connect these two exterior points by placing upside down stairs and right side up stairs back to front as shown. In the middle, I'm going to place an upside down stairs between them and a dark oak slab on top. Then I'm going to run a line of slabs from the top of this slab all the way back to the sandstone wall. Now I'm going to do the same on this wall by creating another arching roof. Like so. Now between the sandstone wall on this level and the arching roof on this side, I am going to run a line of stripped oak logs. And another line above that. And then I'm going to run a line from this stair to the wall. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. Now where each of these stripped oak logs connects to the stairs, I'm going to break them and replace them with stripped oak wood blocks. Underneath here, I'm going to do a little fix by grabbing a strip spruce log and then I'm going to place a vertical one on each side like this. Now let's fill this space on the end with smooth sandstone blocks starting with the top block in between there. Now I'm going to texture this too by replacing just a couple of the smooth sandstone blocks with regular sandstone. Where each of the stairs meets the stripped oak logs, I'm going to place dark oak trapdoors, one vertically like this and one just on top of the top log like so. Between them, I'm going to place a dark oak stair. I'm going to do the same here. And then I'm going to do it on the back side, like so. I'm now going to texture the stripped oak logs on the roof by replacing several of them with regular oak planks. And now I'm going to do the same on the back side. You should now have something that looks like this. On the outside of each window, I'm going to place an awning by putting a spruce stair on top of it, and then I'm going to put two dark oak trap doors and lower them on each side of the window. Now I'm going to do the same to the back. Note that on the back, I flip the shutter doors to the opposite side as I had them on the front. That way they're both on the same side of the building. Now I'm going to start the roof on top of the loft. This is a the slightly complicated part of the build. I'm going to start off by putting three dark oak planks on each side of the roof. Then on the front side of the roof, I'm going to start off by putting a dark oak slab on the top half of this strip spruce log, and then one on top of it. Now I'm going to place a bottom half slab on this dark oak plank, and a top half slab on this dark oak plank, so that we have this arch. Now I'm going to come down this side doing the same thing. Now it's time to repeat this on all four sides of the building. You should now have something that looks like this. On all four sides of the roof, I'm gonna place an additional dark oak slab on each side, in the center, just like that. Against each of these slabs, I'm going to place a dark oak plank, just like that. Between each one of these, I'm going to add a bottom half slab. Then in the middle, I'm going to place a, a top half slab between all of the oak planks and another one on top. And that completes the roof. Let's light up our build by going into each of the horse stalls and placing a lantern right in the middle of the beam.
Let's scatter around some additional hair bales by putting one at the back of this stall and then one outside this stall. You'll have to press shift click in order to place the hay bale against this barrel. Now I'm going to go upstairs to light the loft area. First I'm going to grab some dark oak slabs and I'm going to put one in each corner so that we get a nice arch on the ceiling just like we have on the outside. Then I'm going to place two chains hanging down from the ceiling. They won't connect directly to the top but from down here you won't be able to tell the difference. Now I'm going to place a lantern at the bottom of the chain and that is the upper level all completed. And that's it. The build is now complete. Time to get your horses into the stalls. In order to move a horse in and out of a stall, you'll want to open two of these fence gates at the same time. For convenience, you'll probably want to put an item frame with a lead in between the two. That way you can grab it and when you arrive at your destination, you can tether your horse to a hitching post using the lead. Optionally, you can also texture the ground under each stable. I used a mixture of coarse dirt, podzol, mossy cobblestone, grass path blocks, and grass blocks. You can make grass path blocks in survival mode by right clicking on a grass block with a shovel. I prefer to place grass path blocks individually throughout the build that way they re retain their dark color. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this how to build tutorial video. If you have any questions or comments please post them in the comments down below and consider subscribing for more videos in this series. <music>